Hello everybody. Now the very first step before we dive into real programming is to set up our work environment. Now, uh, if you're using different different work environments, all of us, we won't be on the same page. We'll be uh, chasing each other on things that, you know, so we better try to be on the same page by using the same work environment as far as possible. Now, you need PHP, you need MySQL installations on your computer so you can run the PHP applications and connect to database and add and delete data. Now, it can be very tedious for uh, every one of us to, you know, we may have different versions of PHP, different versions of MySQL may give us different results. So what we try to do is we try to use a standard um, um, pre-packaged solution for us. So Laravel, go to Laravel website, click on Homestead link on your left side here and it presents you with this uh, page. So Laravel comes with a as you know the composer you know which is a dependency manager so Laravel has prepared a simple uh, virtual box for us which is a vagrant box and that comes with pre-installed PHP web server uh, MySQL installation everything ready to use out of the box for us so just go on this page go through everything uh, if you don't have virtual box install install the virtual box first install the vagrant they, they are like uh, standard installers just click next 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 it should be all straightforward and then download the Laravel Homestead box if you already have but if you don't if you want to just install using PHP and composer you you can do so if this command fails for some reason and the next thing is make sure after you install the Homestead you run Homestead up command that will run your Homestead box and then you try to SSH into your box make sure to to generate some keys and everything and if you run into any issues just uh, drop some comments and I'll make a video for that if you you shouldn't have any problem there are pl plenty of uh, videos online already trying to trying to help us how to install homestead how to uh, provision homestead destroy homestead or SSH into homestead and stuff like that once you have homestead ready uh, don't worry about homestead.yml file which is the configuration file for all the applications you're going to be creating in your system and their respective hosts and their uh, database credentials you don't worry about that don't worry about that right, right now because uh, we won't be using that anyway um, that's it once you have homestead the next thing we need is make sure you have npm install which is uh, node package manager and uh, or maybe not we won't be using that but if you have it that's good Another thing is, um, what else do we need? We need Homestead, and then we need try to um, try to use an editor of your choice. Um, I hope you're a programmer, so you're using either Sublime Text or PHP Storm. Both of them are good editors. But if you're new to programming, uh, you can stick to Sublime Text. But in these tutorials, I'll, I'm just gonna use PHP Storm because it's it's not free I bought it and it's really good and that should uh, get us started so let's dive right into uh, setting up our uh, application open up your terminal and just go to wherever you want your application to live and use composer because I want to use a composer create project Laravel slash Lara well and to do name of your application app 2016 give the version you want to download Laravel version and prefer this now why I want to use this command not the Laravel new command because Laravel new downloads the latest development branch by default and composer create project lets me switch between different branches and 5.0 is really stable I've been using it for a pretty long time I've done a couple of off, couple of um, uh, real life uh, large scale applications and I didn't really face any any issues so I would like to wait a little bit longer and un until you know I see 5.1 or 5.2 like really coming out as the stable versions and then I would like to stick to them so just use composer create project for now and hit enter and this should get you started this should download all the um, the basic Laravel um, directories all the structure everything and it'll use composer.json um, in the laravel to download all the dependencies required 
for Laravel to function properly. And uh, once you're ready, we will. I'm just gonna skip the video part so it's a bit quick. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, my installation has just finished and it has downloaded um, the application and all the dependencies and set up the application key for me. So let's cd into that directory which is to do app 2016 and just clear everything out. And without any delay or doing anything, I'm just going to run composer update to make sure everything is up to date. Run composer update first. And then next thing you want to do is open up the text editor of your choice, which uh, in my case is going to be PHP Storm. And once once it's open, you want to open up the application wherever you have tried to uh, save the application, open it up, and let's bring it out. and now the terminal has done its job it's all good uh, we're gonna set up our application some of the dependencies are not included in laravel they are like third-party libraries we're gonna need them okay let's install one of the library composer require illuminate html now this is uh, a great package uh, which is uh, designed specifically for laravel as a laravel service provider and if you don't know about the service provider concepts that's okay i'm going to show you what this means and how you can benefit and you can create your own service providers now this package helps us um, write our forms and in in the blade in, in the syntax of the blade templating engine it's it, it just amazing it just reduces so much effort and it's just amazingly easy to organize everything uh, rather than using plain HTML, you can use Blade Templating Engine and they'll simplify your work just uh, so, 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 so much. Okay, after you have done so, um, next thing is let's open up our editor. In our editor, this is how it looks like. You, you uh, dive into the application and you see everything. Um, everything if it appears to be new to you for example you've never used laravel before i'm going to go ahead and spend five minutes with you and going over it and everything i recommend this this application tutorial is probably not for someone like very very new to laravel i recommend going through other videos and come back here when you have learned a little bit about laravel so because this video is going to focus on uh, the video series essentially is going to focus on how to apply Laravel to create something, some idea from scratch, rather than focusing on Laravel itself. So it's better to have some some kind of. Uh, but if you want to learn by building, that's okay. If you don't understand anything, just stop the video and try to find other videos where you can find information about whatever I just did in one single second. If you don't understand what what he just did. Uh, you can always post comments and ask me if you're not sure about something and I'll try to help you out. Okay, the next thing is um, let's open up our environment key. So the key has been set and I'm running localhost and I'm running on homestead. So the very first thing is uh, I'm going to have to create a database. Let's open up the terminal. Now you can I was trying to use the terminal in here uh, in PHP Storm, but I, I presume some of us won't be using PHP Storm. So let's just go back to the usual terminal, clear everything out, make sure your um, homestead is running. The, so the the machine is running by uh, running homestead up or homestead resume, whatever. In my case, it's running. I think I'm just going to try. So I've got an alias HR, which is for Homestead Resume, which which is running. So no worries. Now I'm going to SSH into my Homestead. Um, this is again an alias. You may have to write down the full code. Let's take a look at my aliases. Mm -hmm. 
okay here in my batch profile i've added these aliases which is uh oh, oh i don't wanna i don't want you to see all this um uh, uh, just add an alias okay um okay i don't really mind that's fine now you can you can go here and add some alias which is virtual machine as you can see right here virtual machine as a such vagrant at 127.0.1 and that will uh, save you a lot of typing in the future um virtual machine get inside your virtual machine and just type mysql user homestead what what did I do my sequel okay show show databases or just create a data database called to do app 2016 and it's done let's go back to terminal update our database um, name username is same password is same there's no problem with that leave it as it is okay the next thing is um next thing is what should we do next next thing is we need to uh, serve our page there we need to create a, a host for our download the application so create the hosts now here there's a there are a couple of virtual hosts i have one so i'm just gonna add a new one Okay, and source it. And once you have done that, you go back to virtual machine and cd into your uh, application, and then serve to do app twenty sixteen dot app. I'm not using homestead.yaml, but if you're familiar with homestead, pretty much, you can go and add those. Uh, configurations over there but of course if I do that and some of you don't know then you, I'm gonna have to run into uh, I'm gonna have to create another video for that so we'll just use serve command here that that's okay for now slash home slash vagrant because I know this is gonna be enough trouble anyway uh, to to app 2016 slash public and that's gonna be okay the next thing is don't exit yet and open your browser and type this and 8000 port 8000 and if you see Laravel page then your installation has been successful and it's listening to the uh, host you set up on the port uh, 8000 that means we are on the same page try to try to get to this point before you begin um, the next video because once you're here everything everything is good all right thank you very much make sure to to like uh, subscribe and post comments ask me whatever difficulties you have and then i'll see you in the next video thank you